What's up guys? Team Orchid here back with another fantasy fights. Um guys, this is Alok versus Elijah Microsan, aka Vampire Alok. Now, obviously we all know who's gonna win, but I am talking about season four Alok going against season five of Elijah from the original one, if that makes sense. I'm doing from different scenes. Because the only person who went against a lot was a Klaus, but Klaus definitely lost that fight. So I was asking my friends on, hey, what fantasy fight I should do? Klaus versus a, uh, a lot versus Klaus? Or a lot versus Elijah? And they were all saying, dude, Klaus was easily whooped. But Elijah, on the other hand, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Guys, we already know. Unlock the vampire will win because he was forced made. That was not actually, guys. You guys don't know that Storm was actually forced made in the Vampire Diaries universe with Estoy and, um, you know, with one of the first ever double gang lords, Alina Gilbert. She was like the Thor's last one, I think. Anyways, they need her whole blood to basically to use and make a lot more powerful. He's basically was like. Klaus's father. He was more stronger than Michael and Klaus combined. So yeah. Anyway, now when he was forced made, honestly, guys. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Honestly, guys. Lock would the normal lock would lose in a minute, in seconds, guys. But he, at the end of the day, he became a vampire and stuff. The only thing what a lot didn't have at the time was a daylight wing, and what was burning in his life was with Alina Gilbert, because if Alina Gilbert dies, so does he. But you know, Alina Gilbert, Alina Gilbert end up dying from a Rebecca when her and Matt off the bridge after Matt basically drug toy by drinking coffee because she was having flashbacks and memories of her family when she was about to. When she got, you know, unconscious and stuff. And Dr. Fell basically get to a demon's blood. And you all know what happened then. Alright. Now. That's how Lord basically became a vampire. He did not want to become a vampire. But Bonnie basically had a dream of Esther. Esther it was not like a dream. It was technically Esther saying that you have some unfinished business to do. Stuff like that. And basically, yeah, and a lot fed from Barney, and yeah, and then Barney, and then a uh, lot, the vampire lord became the most powerful creature in Vampire Diary universe at, at, at most, you know, and then he died, you know, like I said. Anyways, now, Elijah, there's not really much to say about him because you all already know his story and shit, and he's a really good fighter. I had the multiple fantasy fights on him. So I do not have to explain who he is. The reason why I had to explain a little bit of Lork was because I had never done a fantasy fight with a Lork. Nobody has done a fantasy fight like this, I think, in history of fantasy fights. So this is, I hope this does really well. If not, oh well. My video has been slacking, so my bad. And I hope you guys enjoy the new kick-ass 53 second intro. It's going to be a 53 it's going to be a 53 second intro, no 2-3 minute intro, because then people want to skip off the intros. Now, obviously this is going to be a close matchup, because Elijah can't die so a lot, but the only thing was different is with a lot, two things, well only one thing would kill him, is Elena Gilboy. So if Elijah was around at that time, maybe if he knew about because they were trying to offer a deal to try to get Klaus's body at the time. That was the only time they went face to face and shit. Because the Lord literally destroyed Rebecca and Damon told him to leave. So who would know what happened that matchup? Honestly, the Lord probably would have won against Rebecca. She snapped Damon's neck in half just like that. And honestly, guys, we don't really know. So. Anyways, let's just say for example, if Lark actually met up with Elijah at the at the cemetery, or whatever, offering a deal, and something went terribly wrong, and they end up that end up being in a fight. Obviously, guys, 
a large source may not be time will have this advantage but one thing he does not have is a daylight wing and Elijah has a daylight wing you know he cannot be cared but vampires can only go in the sun with a daylight wing with made by a witch and yeah they have to have, they have, to have like a little sort in crystal moonwalk type thing for them to be able to go in the sun anytime they want but a lot in the situation state does not have the wing or nothing like that on his finger he is so a thing he's so a night walker and Elijah is a day walker so technically they are fighting at night time so how this is going to go down a lot is going to end up beating the shadow of Elijah um brutally badly um Elijah is going to mess him up pretty bad and until Elijah can't go out no more his life should be out um but guys, guys, there's a butt, my guys. Now maybe if Rebecca was there, maybe two against one could stand the ground, but like Esther said, excuse me, like Esther said guys, Lanty, she said she was gonna make a, a lot more powerful than her children. That's pruding Michael, because he was also a vampire. Esther torn you know, Michael into original too. But the only thing that could kill him was the White Oak Stake, what Klaus used in season four when they was doing all the Moonstone bullshit. My facts could be wrong coming what season it was when they torn and shit. That's what I'm doing in season four a lot versus season five of Elijah in the original because Elijah was more badass in season five than anything. Um but but, 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 not season five, guys. That's when he had his emotions shut off. I'm retarded, guys. My bad. Season three, Elijah, guys. Season three. Okay. Honestly, this could be a close matchup, honestly, guys. But he easily could have whipped out Klaus's heart because Klaus was trying to go for his. And he, he literally snapped the Savitol brothers next, just like that, in five seconds. And that and Stephen and Damon is no joke. And so for a lot to be able to snap their necks just like that, and, and at the time Damon was more powerful than Stephen at the time too. For him to be able to literally snap his neck just like that, just like that time when a lot was trying to um, trying to help Elena out in season seven. No, yeah, season, no season. Yeah, season six, when the other side and stuff were collapsed, and Damon and Bonnie went to the other side, basically, Damon, they erased Damon's memories, a lot erased Damon's memories from Elena's mind, and basically all Elena was seen was a monster who killed his brother. Poor brother. So, technically, that's it for today's video. We are going to get left off a quick hanger here because why? We don't honestly know who will win this matchup. Now, like I said, during the, if it's a day matchup, honestly, there would be no you know, point of that because why? A lot has no daylight ring at all because remember when he was getting uh, bringing Caroline back to the school, he was starting to touch on fire. But honestly, Elijah will win at that time. But at night time, Elijah is rude. And yeah, this is a 9 minute fantasy fight and I want to keep that as it is. In the intro, it'll probably be a 10 minute video. But oh well. Peace and love with positivity as always and I'll catch you on the flip side. Deuces.